Well, hello again. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And where are we today? We are in Old Mill in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Why are we here? Because they're having an open house and you're invited. And I'm going to take you for the open house tour in Pigeon Forge at the Old Mill. This is a great place to go. And we'll be talking about it for the rest of this show. So stick around. There goes the good time trolley right there. And we'll be back right after this. Kind of an interesting belt in that when you flex it, it lightens up. Uh, it's a little softer, but the longer you wear it, the more character it gets. Thanks for coming with me to the Old Mill Open House in Pigeon Forge. What a beautiful day it is today. The temperatures right now are 59 degrees under sunny skies. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. Uh, definitely warmer than it should be, but it's nice. I'm not complaining at all. And for those of you that have asked me, and many of you written, uh, take us on a tour of Old Mill. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go to the Old Mill today, and we'll wander around the shops, and we'll show you what there is to see, and what there is to buy, and what there is to do. Because Old Mill is a really popular place. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's already quite crowded. The parking lot is full, the good time trolley is rolling, full of people, and everybody is enjoying themselves immensely. Now, for those of you young and old alike, the Old Mill is completely accessible, handicap accessible no matter where you go. So if you happen to be um, in a wheelchair or a walker, or if you have problems, I saw a lot of people with like casts on their legs, but they were getting around pretty, pretty easily. So there's no problem and there's no uh, hazards for you to worry about. And of course, then there's Patriot Park, which is right behind me there. And if you want to go feed the ducks, well, we'll take a walk down there and we'll show you where the ducks are and where you can go. You can even get yourself a lunch and then go walk right across the street to Patriot Park. So don't go anywhere. Stay right there because you know what time it is? There's that silly, stupid raccoon. It, there he is. That Right there, right there. It's time now for Super Shoutouts. Raccoon shows up at the weirdest places, doesn't he? Speaking of the super shoutouts, do you know that for every new subscriber and every old subscriber, you will get a video shoutout on all of our videos, one of them that's coming up. You subscribe, you get a video shoutout. Your name, your channel, and a thank you for subscribing. That's our way for Marie and I to thank you for subscribing to our channel. And speaking of that, we are so close. We just topped over the 600 mark. We're only 400 away from our 1,000 goal. And once we hit that 1,000 goal, I start giving away gifts. And I have some nice high ticket items that I think you're gonna like, but I'm not doing it until we reach 1,000 subscribers. Once we do that, then the fun really starts. So why don't we get this tour going and, um, oh, make sure that you do like comment and subscribe that's the most important thing like comment there's the finger going up and down oh look at the finger like comment and subscribe all right thanks let's go tour around let's see what there is to see today now if you are looking to take the trolley around town this is the way to do it and these people over here i could wave to them there we go thank you thank you this is the way to do it. The trolley is the way to do it because you can get around town very easily. And uh, I did forget my business cards, but I want to say hello to these people right here. Okay, since you're so happy and you wave, you're on Vacation Station TV. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. You're waiting for the trolley, I'm assuming. Yes. And uh, where are you guys from? Clemson. Where? Like the Clemson area. Where's that? South Carolina. South Carolina. That helps. That helps the state that we're in. And how long are you here for? Uh, just the day. This one doesn't talk. <laughs> this one doesn't talk. Just for the day? Can't we convince you to stay a week? Oh, uh, my, my wallet can't afford it. Good answer. 
Good answer. Well, you could always sell something on the side of the road, like maybe his jacket. Yeah, or him. <laughs> Not a bad idea. This guy's a thinker. I like him. <laughs> so what are you going to do for this whole day you're going to be here? Uh, just going to Dollywood and going home. And that's it. Yeah. How long going to drive is it for you to get back to South Carolina? Three, three and a half, depending on traffic. And you all drove up together? Uh, separate, but separate. follow each other. Yeah. And then, so once you're done with Dollywood, it's in the truck, out you go. Yep. That's all right, I guess, right? Yeah, we got here last night, so. Uh, and where'd you stay? Uh, the, what was the The Connell Lodge. Oh, okay, which is right down the street. Yeah. Very good. You liked it? Yep, yeah. Everybody have a good time, of course. Where, where are you going to eat today? No idea. Somewhere in the park. Somewhere in the Yeah, there's a lot of food there. And they got all the Christmas stuff, so you'll enjoy that. Girls will love that. You ready for Christmas? Yeah. So my gift will be under the tree. Yeah. Something lavish. <laughs> Very expensive. <Yeah. laughs> you need to get her something yeah, lavish. <laughs> you're, you're already now committed to probably a Lamborghini. Red. Right? Blue type oh, of okay, blue. blue. <laughs> my wife told me, she said she wanted something bright and red and went from zero to 200 in six seconds. So you know what I got her? A bathroom scale. <laughs> oh, Thanks, guys. Goodness. We'll see you. Bye. Have a good time. Um, they are fun people, fun folks. Hi. This is why you should come to the old mill. Just look, the traffic, of course, eh, a little aggravating, but you could deal with it. It's, it's not all that bad. And lots of places to go. This is the trolley headquarters. This is where you would actually get the trolley. Uh, you can even get taxis here. The trolley, you would stand there, and it's at Gatlinburg on that side, Where's Valley on that side, and all you have to do is just sit on the benches and wait for the trolley to come. That's all you have to do. Okay, so the tour begins in Old Mill during their open house today. Beautiful day. Tomorrow they're saying maybe there's a 70% chance of rain, so I wanted to get out today and do as much videotaping as I possibly could. And I, yesterday I, I spent five hours videotaping. It's like one of the first places you should stop. finishing touch 
handbags, accessories, monograms, and apparel. You could tell my sister would like that. Right, Susan? Would love that. She would definitely love that. Look at that. That's so my sister. Nice stuff. Hello. Hi. You've got very nice stuff in here. I've never been in here before. Thank you. There's your receipt. You don't need it to pick it up. You're going to ask by your first name, okay? That's very in the leopard. Well, yes. That's very, very, uh, very popular. That's something my, my sister would like very much. You're on Vacation Station TV. Oh, okay, good. Very good. Um, how long have you worked here? I have owned this shop for 32 years. You're the owner. Mm -hmm. How lucky am I to get the person who owns the shop? What? This has been a very popular store. And We're driven by our monogramming. We offer free monogramming on almost everything in oh, the store. Really? Everything on this side, yeah. So if you want your name on your shirt. Or your initials. Mm -hmm. And um, I hear a sewing machine, so I'm assuming it's sewed in. They're three embroidery machines, yes. Wow. Very classy. Thank you. Very, you've got 32 years you 32 said. years. I love the earrings. Lots of leopard. If you like cheetah and animal prints, we have a lot of them. It wouldn't look good on me, although maybe a little too ostentatious or too pretentious, <laughs> but maybe just right. <laughs> Very nice. And Thank your name you. is? My name is Dee Keller. Hi, Dee. A pleasure meeting you, and Thank I've you. met Welcome the to owner. Finishing touch. Thirty-two years. Thirty-two years in this store. I wish you another thirty. Thank you. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Look how pretty this place is. The ladies know? love yeah, this. Oh Cute. goodness gracious! Very high Cute. end. This yeah, is not is Walmart, good. kids. Yeah. Wow. Like and of course, monogramming. Uh -huh. What lady would not want? This is very nice. Very nicely made. Umji. Very reasonably priced, too. Look at that. And then you can have your monogram, you have your name, or somebody you're getting a gift for. Absolutely amazing. Picture that. There's the monogramming machine right there. They're working. Earlier days, that would have been done by hand, but here it is, it's done in minutes in front of your eyes. You can have purses done. Ladies, purses with your initials on it. Wow. Wow. And here are the purses, all different colors. Nice green, kind of a forest green, malls. Nice stuff. There's an example of the monogramming. Price-wise, what's the price on that one? But these are nice, this is nice leather. Really quality stuff. Ladies, oh. This is, this is definitely a ladies shop. Nice purses. Nice small, very soft leather. Another example of the monogramming that you can have on your purse. Backpacks too. You can have uh, having a person who likes backpacks. You can have it monogrammed like right there. That would be so nice. This is very classy. Very nice. AR New York. That's what this product is. how nice that would look with your monogram on that. Look at that. And this even comes with a little change purse. Look at that. Really soft, it's super soft leather. $38. $38. AR New York. This is high-end stuff. Wow. And they've got the clearance rack.
Pierre Dumas. You just wouldn't expect to see New York products here in Pigeon Forge. This is right from uh, Fifth Avenue. I know these people well. 50% off as much. Real quality, isn't it? Yes, yeah, nice. It's really nice stuff. Yeah. And 50% off, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Very nice. Let me see that. Oh, look at it. And you can tell the quality. It's made very well. It's not Walmart, that's for sure. Yeah. The price, the original price was, look. 34. Look, and now it's 17. Oh mm. my God, you could fill up. <laughs> Don't tell my wife, please. <laughs> all right, this will all be in under the tree. Oh goodness, great bargains. Excellent. That's why they're having an open house today. They want you to come on in this is so that you can actually go there. Hi. Oh, nothing like the smell of fresh leather. Look at that. Hand tooled. Yeah. You can also order online. Your gun enthusiast would absolutely love this for archery. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the work on that. Yeah. There's the handmade knife. Mm -hmm. The mini spikes. Horseshoe knife. Really? <laughs> I love some of these. Look at that. If you collectors, this is the place to come. Absolutely. Ladies, here's uh, some more. This is all handcrafted stuff. You just don't find this stuff anywhere. Nice. Patriotic clutch. A few people equestrian. They've got all the stuff, and I'm sure they'll make it to order if you um, you tell them. Look at the thickness of these belts. Beautiful belts. Well, I'll use one of my other guns. Sixty-seven to sixty-nine. Oh, the craftsmen at work. Hello. Howdy. How are you? I'm doing fine. You're actually making these belts, aren't you? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing this? About two years. How many have you made? Guesstimate. Well, all right. The leather is cut in Virginia. Okay. And then I do like the, the black belts. The edges are not black originally. I dye the edges, put the buckles on, and on the others I just put the buckles on. This week I done two hundred. <laughs> two hundred. <laughs> No, you're kidding me, yeah. aren't you? Uh, well, we've been out a couple of the leathers for mm -hmm. probably two, three months. Ordinarily, it would be about 50 to 25 a week. Really? You know. It's actually been almost this, this is, the, These belts are our best seller. These are, and I could see why. Well, and they also have a 10-year guarantee. No kidding. Uh, I mean, you can just see that it's quality. can go with any book. It's a solid chunk of harness leather. So it's not pieced together? No. Oh, look at that. It is not a laminate. And the stitching looks really strong. Yeah. And the buckles are all brass? And, all right, the buckles are different. And that the way it works, it's kinder to the leather. Because most uh, belts, what you do is you bend the belt around the buckle when you put it on, take it off, that cracks the grain where the holes are. Right, that's true. This one you don't do that. Why? You don't bend the belt. We put it on, fold the buckle back, slide the belt through both. Oh, so it doesn't bend at all? And then you grab pull the... Pull it through. The, pull it until it's snug, gentle pressure on the buckle. That's a nice belt buckle. Okay, and, the, and they're all back the buckles there. are over here. 
Very cool. And so you now today's Saturday. How many more are you going to make today? Well, I've got. If you look behind you on that bench, I've got to put those together. <laughs> These I right mean, here. All of those over. Those I just stained, and all of those there. If I get the chance. I'll Look put them this. together. There's got to be a hundred more there. Mm -hmm. You're busy. So the reason I'm putting this one together is buckles. we're out of 40s on this rack. Size 40. So I'm doing the 40 in black. 40 in black. Wow. And the price at $60 is not for a handmade belt? And uh, if you go over 44, no, but I understand. Uh, it's 70. Ten bucks more. Right. Very reasonable. For a handmade belt. Yeah. What a gift. What a great gift that is. And they're all... Everything we sell is, is straight uh, cowhide. Mm -hmm. Well, it is an exception. We have some stuff that's buffalo hide. Mm -hmm. Buffalo hide great is... Great job. And your first name is? Ed. Hi, Ed. Pleasure meeting you. An honor to meet you. Bart? An honor to meet you. <laughs> My Thank pleasure, you. sir. Thank you. Great. I love this place. Wow, great, great, great. Wait till I tell Marie. Wait till I tell Marie. Marie, this is what I want. I want a handmade belt. I want a brown one and I want a black one. And you see Ed and tell him I want it. And I'll never need another belt again. 10 year warranty on a belt? Hello. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. If you're looking for jewelry, of course, there's jewelry here. Now, one of my other favorite places here is the uh, where they have the stonework here, Pigeon Forge Soap Company. And you want soap? Really nice. I mean, wouldn't this look nice? Not with that name, of course, unless your name is Wyatt. But on the front of your property, wouldn't that look beautiful? Uh, and, and the sizes vary. You can do. Hi, tell me about your stones. You're on Vacation Station TV. Here you go. Um, tell me about do, how you do this stuff. We start with a half hour sandblaster to get the edges and finish off plant tools, and we just hand carve them all. And just people hand carve. Out, people pick out a stone and. We design them on the computer. So there's stones all around here, uh -huh. and these are the different sizes that people could choose. If they wanted a larger stone, would you be able to do that? To an extent, some larger stones we can't do. Okay, but this is the size that one can choose. Have their last name put on a very classy in front of the house. I mean, that just looks, or on your porch or your deck. How long does it take to make one of these? Typically a few hours. So if they wandered around, went to dinner, walked around, you guys would have this all done. Mm -hmm. How long you've been doing this? Four years. And uh, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. It's a, artisans are hard to come by good ones, you know. And I, we've been in here many times before we live here, and it just amazes me how beautiful these things look. And this would be a gift for somebody. You know, Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. There's a stone with yeah. your name on for your house. Very, very good. Thank you. What a cool place, right? Cool or not cool? Hmm? Nice. There, look at that. <laughs> Go Vols, the Cody's. Uh, you, uh, you could really tick off your neighbor who's like the uh, like an LSU fan or something. <laughs> Chris Go! <laughs> Look at that. That's what you need, Crisco. Right on your front yard, right there. That with the uh, Go Tigers. You got a pretty butterfly with a bear. Something larger. The Hopper's Lake House. Established 2020. Look how classy that looks. Very nice. Rock Carving Daily. Customized garden stones, pet memorials, address markers. I'd have my tombstone made by the. I wouldn't have any problem with that. Stop. Are you impressed yet? Are you impressed yet? I am.
<laughs> I love it. I love all this stuff because it's so unique. You just can't go. You can't go to another place and find this. You can't go down the street. It's not down the street anywhere else. It's here at Old Mill during their open house. Everything is on sale. You have to come here, and I'm sure for the whole weekend they'll be here. And uh, there's just stuff to do. Plenty of restaurants. No want for food. No want for things to buy or look at. That's what the Old Mill is about. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Do you want me to keep doing these videos? like. <laughs> <laughs>
and the restaurant is right over adjacent to the river. You can walk all the way around. Pigeon, the Pigeon Forge main road is right there. There's the main road, that's Parkway right there. And this is all downtown Old Mill. This has all been here. Most of these buildings uh, are not from the 1830s. There are some that turn of the century, but the only building that's actually here from 1830 is the Old Mill. Lots of history here. Lots and lots of history. So what did you think of that? Did you enjoy that? We took you through Old Mill as best as we could to keep it in the time frame that we had to. So you're welcome to join us on Vacation Station TV. And of course, tell a friend you discovered Vacation Station TV. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, we're almost there and I need your support. This message to the people that watch the videos that haven't subscribed, why not? Why not? We had, the last time I looked, 18,000, and this is not making it up, I just looked at it this morning, 18,000 people have looked, and all I'm saying is, all you gotta do is hit that little button on the right and subscribe. Just hit the little button on the right and subscribe, and you're part of our family. And remember, you'll be on a video shout out. We'll be mentioning your name, your site, and, your, uh, and a little bit about your site. We'll look at your videos, we'll talk a little bit about it, and tell people to go and visit you. So remember, Vacation Station TV, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon.